Daniel 431c, Ula illa a bar kate, Ula chai alama, Shab kate, Vachadrait, D shalatane, Shaltan alam, Umalkute im dar vadar. And that brings us to saluk, so fasuk. So back to the beginning here. We have a conjunction, lamed prefix. And then in this kare, in the kativ kare, there is the kametz he that is acting as a kametz aleph determined state. So, and the most high, this is going to be a direct object marker. And since we haven't seen a verb yet, we see that this is going to be object fronting. And the verb occurs next at the zakev katon. It's the beit resh kaf verbal root, and it's a pa'el, perfect first person common singular, and we're going to see this pattern often. And just like in Hebrew, the G stem in Biblical Aramaic means kneeling, the D stem means blessing. So I blessed the Most High where there's object fronting. So continuing, we have conjunction, lamed, prefix, and then here is a construct. And so the living of the eternal. So the one who lives forever is kind of the idea. So once again, it's going to be object fronting because we see what happens next. We have a pa'el, perfect, first person common singular. Again, this time of sheen, bait, chet. And it's a similar idea. This is I praised. And then here we have conjunction before and I glorified another pa'el, perfect, first person common singular. Here we have hey, dalet, resh. For is how the relative is acting. In this case, his dominion is a dominion. And then coming to this Akev Katon, here we have forever. So his dominion is an everlasting dominion. Conjunction. And his kingdom with generation and generation. So his kingdom is from generation to generation. So from the beginning, and the Most High I blessed. And the one who lives forever, I praised and I glorified. For his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation.